Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mallory and if you're new, hi, it's nice to have you here with me. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to customize your iPhone using iOS 14. So the update just came out a few days ago and I've been messing around with it and I found a way to customize my iPhone. And everyone can customize their iPhone differently, but I just went with kind of this mauve color tone. I'll put it up here on the screen of what I made my iPhone look like, but I'm really happy with the turnout and I've had a lot of people ask me how I did it. I'm going to be going ahead and showing you guys how I customized my iPhone today. So the first thing you are going to need to do is first of all update your iPhone to iOS 14 and you can find the updates in the settings of your phone. Next, you are going to be needing the two apps, Widget Smith and Shortcuts. So Shortcuts should already be on your phone, but Widget Smith, you have to go into the App Store and actually get. Okay, so I already customized my phone and on the screen right here is just the theme that I kind of went with. I went a kind of a mauve burnt orangey, pink theme. Um, I really like it. So the first thing we're going to be doing is using Widget Smith to make these um, little icons that I have that are like the 103 p.m. and the Sunday calendar and then I also have my reminders on the second page. So I already put an icon um, for the widgets but we'll get to the shortcuts later. So this is how you make a widget. So you want to open up the app. As you can see, I already kind of messed around with it yesterday. So um, here in the medium widgets, I already made little calendar things. Okay, so let's just mess around with a small one. So you're gonna press default widget. And from there, you're just going to pick whatever kind of icon you want, whether it's a date, a calendar, a reminder, anything, they have everything. Let's go ahead and just do the upcoming events which I don't have any right now but you can just pick a font so let's just pick New York and then tint color so this is where your font color comes in so I guess we'll just go with white and then you can pick a background color so let's do just gray for fun and then you can pick an out line like a border color but i am not a fan of them so you're just going to press the small number three in the corner and then press save so now whenever you get back to your home screen you're going to hold down on the like a random space on your phone and you can see that it makes all of the apps kind of tremble like they're going to be deleted but in the top left hand corner you can see that there is a plus button so with the plus button, you're going to press that and then it says search widgets. You can just scroll down until you see Widget Smith. And then depending on what kind of size you just made your widget, you're going to press either small, medium, or large. We made a small one, so we're going to do add widget. And as you can see, the one that popped up is not the same as the one that we just made. So you're going to press on that and it comes up with this little new screen thing and you just press on that and then you have to remember what number you made yours I think mine was number three yes so um, you just press whichever number widget you made and then it should pop up on the screen then you can press done and it's there but if you end up not liking the widget you can also hold down on the screen again and just click the minus and then you can remove it so it's that simple and you can do this with any kind of size you can put pictures on there i think that this is really useful it's nice that you can also customize it to your liking and have an aesthetically pleasing phone okay now that we have all of the widgets that we want made and the theme picked out we can go ahead and make the shortcuts which are the cute little icon covers that you see on my screen now so First of all, you want to go ahead and pick a theme. As you can see, my theme is kind of like boho-y, um, mauve, and dark orange and like light pink. I found all of these cover pictures on Pinterest, so Pinterest is a great resource to find any kind of picture, no matter what the theme is that you are wanting to go for for your phone covers. 
like I said, I am just going to be using the app Shortcuts. So, um, as you can see, I have three pages on my phone, but right now I only customize the first two pages so that we could still have a third page to customize. So here's my third page. Um, we're going to go ahead and open the app Shortcuts, like I said. You're going to press the plus button in the top right corner and then press add icon. From there, you're going to press scripting and then open app. Then you're going to press the choose button and pick whatever app you haven't customized yet or you just want to customize if you're not customizing all of them. So we're going to go ahead and do Google Docs just for fun. So from here, you're going to go ahead and press the three little um, dots in the corner and name your shortcut. So we're going to do docs because that's the app that it is. You can always give it a different name, put emojis by it, do whatever you please. And then you're going to press add to home screen. From add to home screen, you're going to clear the new shortcut five unless you want that to be your um, app name but I'm going to just do docs once again. And then from here, you're going to click the bluey green picture, and then you're going to press choose photo. And from here, you can see all my pictures. Um, I am just going to use this one for Google Docs. So I'm gonna press choose, and you can always zoom in or zoom out depending on what kind of picture it is and how you want it to be spaced out. And then you just press add, and then done and then done again and then once you get to your home screen as you can see there is my google docs icon so from there you can just do edit home screen and move it wherever you would like um so it kind of just fits in with the theme and i think it's super cute so now that you guys know how to make your custom iphone i thought it would be neat to kind of add a few little inspiration pictures so that you guys can kind of have a theme in mind whenever you're trying to do this so i looked on pinterest and i also looked on tiktok and i found some cute ones so we're going to go ahead and just look through some of these so obviously you guys already saw my theme so i also found this one on pinterest it's super cute it's really simple um they just used plain color pictures as their little app icons so this one's a really cute idea the next one is off of TikTok and this one, they just, I like how they kept the icons, but they're like neon lights. So I think that's really cool. Next is a pretty girly one. I also found this one on TikTok. It's really cute. Um, it's kind of like a light pink aesthetic. And this is her second page and then her third page. Next is this one, they basically just have the widget in the middle, so they kept it everything the same except for just a widget. The next one is so cute. They did a false theme, which is super cute. I really like this idea. I didn't even think about that. But I love the little dog for TikTok. I hope that this video was helpful in you customizing your iPhone using iOS 14. If it was, go ahead and leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below. I would really appreciate it. And if you guys do customize your iPhones, go ahead and let me know down in the comments what kind of theme you did. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye! Hey, keep me where the light is, keep me where the bright is.